transplant these, but as we go, we're going to have to build and grow at the same time. So, next up, lights. Let's get to it. phenotypes just because I want to make sure that one of them rooted and as you can see one out of two didn't root and one out of two didn't root so I probably will just remove those but whatever. Over here we have some Rosy Kush, some Pine Valleys, we have that strawberry cross to the Spartan Kush, we have some more Rosy and more a different phenotype of that strawberry cross to the Spartan Kush. Everything is rooted over here. They're starting to, the nubs are coming through. Starting to root. And starting to root. check the calendar but I think it's been about a week the thrip damage is real it's a bummer but I need to keep all these plants so I just cut them all back and I'm gonna do a dunk we're gonna transplant we're gonna bleach this whole entire room and in the flower room, some work to do. So I did hang up one light, the HLG 300 R spec. And still need to take out the old HPS hoods. Need to mount the fans. Need to finish up hanging up the lights. A little bit of work to do. And I'm ready to get into this. So this series is going to highlight the Pine Valley's F2 test run underneath the new HLG LED lights.
here we are back in the bedroom a few days later. Everything is cleaned up nicely. We de-leafed a little bit to get rid of all the uh, dead leaf material and that was infected by the thrips. Things are doing very, very well. And over here, we have the clothes. Look. Always remember to turn this motherfucking fan off when you're filming, when you're gardening, 